Namaskar friends. Welcome to BM classes. Today I am going to create a gear in two dimensions using the tools which I have discussed in earlier videos. So be with me to the end of this video. So let's click in the AutoCAD software. Okay friends. So First of all, we choose the construction line and we draw a horizontal and a vertical line. So you can see uh, the ortho is off, so the we, uh, we cannot draw a straight line. So we first choose the ortho and uh, now we can draw a vertical and horizontal line. So first we take the vertical one. And after that we press the enter key and after that we again uh, repeat the construction line so and now we draw a, a horizontal line and again we press the enter key so now we have two lines one is horizontal and another is vertical so now we choose the circle and At that point you can see the cross one so we draw a circle here of dia 6.666 so uh, we are uh, creating this circle using uh, diameter so we press d and after that we press enter and we now put the diameter value so 6.666 and press enter so you can see uh, this very small small value so you can press the scroll bar two times and we get the circle So now we again the repeat uh, the circle command and now we are going to draw another circle of radius 3. So if we put 3 and press enter. So we have another circle. So again we repeat the circle and make a circle of diameter 5.142 so we press D and press again enter so we first we have to specify the center so we have center and again we press D and after that we press enter and after that we put the value of the circle 5.142 then enter so now we have three circles now we use the offset command we choose the offset and after that the offset, offset distance is we take point zero nine four and after that we press enter we have this horizontal line so we select this horizontal line and click above the line and again we select this this middle line and below click below the line so now we have three lines and again we repeat the offset command by right click of the mouse and again the again enter the offset distance 0.26 and again uh, select the center line and press and click the uh, mouse above the line and again select the line and press below the line so now we have four lines now again we select the offset command and put the offset distance 0.214 press enter and select the vertical line and press left side of the 
line and again select the middle line and press and again click on the right side of the line so now we have this construction so friends now we have to delete uh, the unwanted lines so uh, we choose the trim command so this is the trim command we select this and press the right uh, click of the mouse and we trim this one and after that this and this and after that this also so now again we select this and press the delete button so now we will use the array array function so before that uh, I have to delete this one also so we click on the array tool and after that we have two options one is rectangular array and another is polar array so we click on polar array and after that we select the object so this is the object so i've clicked on that and after that we press the press the enter button and uh, now we have the center point so i've clicked on that and after that i choose the center point so center point is this so i've chosen and put the total number of items is 18 and after that you can take a preview so I can see that the desired numbers of lines I get so I press the accept button after that I will use the three point arc I clicked on that tool and after that using, using this three point this point this point and this point I, I am going to draw an arc so I click that point that point and that point so again I repeat the arc I click that point that point and that point you can see so now I am going to delete that part that part and now I am going to use the trim again so I have taken this trim tool and again right click after that I so now I have this so after that select and select all the lines and press the delete button so, delete button and now I use the fillet options so here is the fillet I press the fillet tool and after that I pull the radius of the fillet so after choosing that fillet options I press the R key from the keyboard so that I can put the radius so R and press enter after that I will put the radius fillet radius so this is 1.124 and press enter after that we'll click on that line and that line so i'm um, so the fillet had done i again repeat the fillet options and after that press again the r key from keyboard and press enter and after that 
again I put the radius so the radius is already given 0.124 so I have to press enter and after that I click on that part and that part so I got this so now I will read this and I will read this so now I have this so uh, to make the teeth of this gear I will choose the ops the op, uh, array command again and by clicking this select the object so select the object and press the enter key and now press I will press that uh, center center here okay and the total number of items I have taken 18 so you can see the preview yes I have, I have I get the desired number of teeth so I have accepted this and after that this is the vacant space so I will draw a line simple line from that point to that point so to fill all the vacant space I will again choose the array function so I will press the array key choose the array key and after that select the object so I have selected the object and press the enter key again and now I will choose the center point so I have clicked on that part and after that I have chosen the center so now also I have to put a total number of items as 18 so 18 is already entered there so I will take the preview now you can see that all the vacant space has been filled with the help of line so my desired criteria is fulfilled so I accepted this now I am to I am going to draw some concentric circles so I have taken the circle tool after that I will draw a circle of, of dia 1 so I have entered in and press 1 and so the circle I got and again I will repeat the center in the circle and after that I click that point and put 1 and create a, a circle of radius 1 and again I will repeat the circle and I draw a circle of radius 2 so I got this so now I will make a key at this at the at that point so I will draw a rectangle rectangle of length 0.24 and width 0.12 so I get this so ortho is on so ortho I have to of the ortho so now I select this and I will move from here to here that centers actually it is proper fluctuating so I have to change the setting so this is on so now I can easily yes now again I have to zoom it so by scrolling up I can zoom the picture and zoom out by uh, scrolling the scroll button downwards so now again to move a little bit down so first of all I will select that and after that choose the move and after that I have to move it slightly down okay no, it is not done so I have to move a 
okay done now i use the trim i'm taking the trim and after that right click and trim the things so press the yes button and select this circle and press the delete button so now you can see we have get the desired gear so friends like that you can draw a gear so i think uh, it was quite helpful for you people to draw a gear easily